got excited for a sec. I have no idea who this guy is. This is random. Oh, that's pretty good. <gasps> a ground fireball? What game? What game is he playing? Mm, that's alright. I'm not getting good impressions of this Akuma player yet. That was a random demon flip. I didn't mean to do that. I got an accidental partition. Oh my god, I forgot. I forgot about Akuma, dude. I forgot how short that stun bar is. I don't think this guy's that good. He didn't impress me with his footsies. I should have activated super there. What's he doing? I had a few opportunities to do some crazy stuff. I didn't take any of them. Instead of cancelling the fireball to super, I should have actually juggled him into a crutch fierce and then cancelled that to super. And I'm pretty sure I could have gotten a stun off of that. Whew. I do that on purpose sometimes, but that one was on accident. Is that a demon flip? What's this man doing? I check it out, he's gonna run, start jump like fireball, and I'm literally gonna kill him. Oh damn it. Dash in Perry Perry. You kidding me? What kind of hard ass read was that? That's so suicidal. You can't make fucking reads like that if you play Akuma. I felt it. The first round he lost, and he was just like, well, you know, maybe I did, things didn't go my way. And then the second round he lost, the second match he lost, he was like, damn. This guy might be out of my league. I felt the pause. He went straight back in after the, uh, after round one. No. Did not see that. This matchup is like 5-5. Five five. He can't find his air fireballs. Keeps on doing like motions for them and then like getting like air jump jab. Fuck. Okay. I like this aura because it's gold. There's only two Oro colors that are actually gold. That's cool. Ah! That pickup is really hard on Akuma, and then it lagged when I got it the second time. That walking. Shit, got the second hit on both. So I can have done that one too. Ah. Huh.
TDF had a lot of Jawbreaker Kumas. I haven't seen one in a while. I like forgot what they were like. That was an accident. Got far medium kick there. What's with all the jump jabs? <gasps> I parried that. Missed it, I guess. It looked good. It felt good. The worst matchup in third strike? It's a bit debated. A lot of people say Makoto Q. But there's evidence that that matchup isn't actually as bad as it, everyone says. Namely that Kuroda says it's... Whoa. That DP. He crouched. He crouched. I want this guy to send me like a rage message. Like I'm fucking, you're just the cheapest motherfucker in the entire world. Something like that. The worst matchup in the game would almost certainly involve Chun-Li. I'm probably just a character who's very weak to Chun-Li. Chun-Q is like 8-2. Pretty bad matchup. Target combo is optimal damage there. Trying to throw some fireballs. Whoa. That was a bit disrespectful of me. What was he doing? He's just not blocking in a lot of scenarios where you can just... Wow. Didn't even trade. I want these trades. Trade would have stunned him. Sloppy, sloppy. Makoto versus Q is because Makoto can literally get like 80% stun off of any taunt that Q does anywhere on the screen. Makoto, even if she doesn't have super bar, she can punish any taunt. And if she does have super bar, I always do the... That's a bad idea against this guy. I've tried to pay that. I missed it. I estimated the timing like it was going to be a um, jump around house, but it was a jump jab. Can't get it. Should've been crouched fierce. He crouched again. Everything about Sean is bad. Sean has like almost no mix-ups. His overhead is like ridiculously slow and reactable. His wheel kick is like a parry on reaction. His roll is like a hit on reaction. He has a lot of really gimmicky stuff. Like if you know the counter. Did I really just get that link? That's a one frame link. Wow. He's trying to go for like aggressive ass parries. And I'm going for aggressive ass combos. Hit him crouching so that combo worked. Ryu has radically different supers from Ken. That's like the big wedge between them. Ryu's tools on paper are really about the same as Ken's tools. The only thing that Ken has that Ryu really feels lacking on is the the overhead to super link, which is one of one of Ken's strongest tools, don't get me wrong. But like Ryu's, Ryu's supers just utterly change the way the two characters play. Even though they're quite similar to play in terms of normals, like most of the normals are literally shared. Um, it was a serious nerf bat. It was like a really crazy nerf bat. Sean and second impact and Sean and third strike are not even the same character. I tried to parry that and radically, radically overestimated the amount of time it would take to reach me. That was a good jump. Your entire objective, as every character in this entire game, is still into super. It's definitely true that it's super centric. Oh fuck. He didn't even attack. Damn. 
He has tendencies that are easy to exploit. That was unexpected. Unexpected high level play. That's an unblockable. This parry had a little bit of a change. I don't remember if it was new generation or second impact where it changed. There were two air parries. And I think parry lock was introduced eventually. Parry lock didn't used to exist in old Street Fighter. I think new generation of second impact removed, introduced parry lock. But there was like an air down parry, which is our current air parry. And there was also an air forward parry that, where you'd like bounce off and go like super high. Which is just gone. Who wakes up sweet? That was crazy. This dude's a nut. I like him. That failed demon flip. I saw that. It's the light one too. He's like trying to do special moves and shit and I'm just kicking his ass. I feel bad. If you can't even get your special moves out consistently, you're not even playing the same game. Props to this guy for like trying, despite this fucking adversity he's facing. That was a really awful double jump on my part. Too early. Ugh. Dropping everything on this guy. I went for a parry reset there and I botched it pretty hard. That would have been really cool. Well, I almost just did. Normally the stones block that. <gasps> I couldn't find a hit. Trying to zone me and shit with fireballs. I'm unzonable, dude. I'm going for the hyper delayed double jump. That doesn't cross up, but it looks really dirty. Why'd I do that and not any other juggle? I thought it would stun. If I could stun him with jab, I would have had the best juggle. But. Jab does like no stun. Ready for this guy to pull out something crazy. Fuck, I'm hitting buttons at bad times. Hmm. If I didn't hit a button, that wouldn't have hit me. Yeah! I'm making like a bunch of execution errors. He doesn't know how to block that, I could just kill him with it. I didn't confirm that for shit. Styling. Did you try to parry that, or why'd that work? Oh, that was cool. I'm expecting Sandstrong to beat that, but actually loses. We're going for that rad shit. That is fantastic. He liked it.
I'll hit him with some more nutty combos. I'm playing to an audience. This audience is this Akuma. That's a good block. Got me. That would have been a super confirm if this guy was better. Yeah. Got me. It's blocking. Yeah. Akuma dies so fast. Tim! What up? What are you doing here on Not a Bath Day? Treble. I could not have done anything else after the second stairman house. That was six. I'm fighting a jobber Akuma right now. He's like never seen a good aura before. Parried that, but fucked up. That was alright. <gasps> I got an accidental charge partition. I mean, well, I guess, yeah. An accidental charge charge. That was also the end of my juggle count. That post has both of Aura's arms out. Am I good? No, I was garbage when I played it. I was about as good as Marvel 1 as this guy is as Akuma. This guy is a better Akuma than I was at Marvel 1. Marvel 1 was back before I even knew how fighting games worked. So, like, when I, like... Rare optimal use of Aura's target combo. That's alright. I didn't know how to do special moves back then. This guy at least knows special moves. That was weird. I super cancelled that, I swear. What up, Ominous? Was it really? Th I didn't. I didn't get into Third Strike until way after. Third Strike came out in '99. I got into it in 2006. I got into it seven years after it came out. I got into it well after it died. Pair out of Yagio? Yeah. It depends. You have to always watch for how Oro does the setup. Because a lot of the times, I shouldn't say a lot of the time, if it drops in particular ways, you can quick stand out or block in a particular direction. But if he does it right, you've just got to parry. That was a really aggressive of me again. Every time he resets me, I parry high, and every time he resets me, he attacks low. So, like, my parries are all getting blown up. Wow, I didn't want that. It was kind of cool, though. Mikado cannot use the super to get out of Oro. Bullshit. That was kind of cool. That was also kind of cool. I tried that, but I mistimed it. 
that was just dumb on my part. That was just just stupid. Just a brainless play. That was a really aggressive parry from me because Akuma does not have to attack there. Even if Makoto could, even if Makoto did wake up Super One, even if it hit Aura, which it wouldn't, um, it would just trade because the projectile would still be inside her. Makoto's not invincible for her Super One. She's invincible until the first hit connects. That looked like a round start parry. That looked like an anti-air parry. That was dash and low parry from me, which was perhaps a bit more aggressive. Ah, <gasps> oh, I don't even. That was wacky. <sighs> People who spell ridiculous with an e. Every time I see it, my eyes just burn. That was kind of cool. That was a good anti-air. No DP. Fuck. He countered my... He, he countered my low forward with a raw light Tatsu. It's really hard to pick up a Kuma at the end of a Tengu string. I usually go for a baby combo. Wow. I think he surprised himself with that one. Who's this? It's a fight kid random. He probably doesn't even know who I am. Oh fuck. Really high connect. It's really hard to get a Kuma in that chicken anyway because he's a Shoto. That was a good block. That fucking... that was aggressive, dude. That was some aggressive shit. I haven't seen some aggressive shit like that in a while. You see that? He walked all the way in. If he threw me, it would've worked. The fucking balls out walk and throw is such a crazy. I love that every time I see it. When you just like cover, like literally, when you just hold straight forward for like half screen. If you go on YouTube, you can just search like Jinrai Buffet and you can find us playing. It's not like it's never happened. That would have killed. Incidentally, Jinrai is the one who taught me Aura. I thought I was being all sneaky with my charging. But he was the sneaky one. Whoa. Come back here. Really hard. I've beaten Jinrai like comfortably every time I played him. He's a washout, he's an old man. Who? Every time I block high. Why does he always do like oh, medium tatsu anyway? That was a really bad time to hit crouch medium kick and I saw it and reacted and got the trade. Trade combo.
His play is more solid. What the fuck? Solid doesn't win in this game. I had the kill combo there. Here, stand strong. I didn't have to jump parry, but he didn't do anything. Horus turtle is cute. I didn't realize what was happening until it was too late. I absolutely should have done a Crutch Fierce combo from that. And now I've already won. I was gonna say, um, normally by now I switch over to Super 2, but I can't against Takuma, because he's got that Tela. I was parrying. I was hoping he would come down with an attack, but he actually empty jumped. Shit. Whew! Kept him doing his unthrowable frames. That was the right frame. What is my Steam stream title? Is it just the Bath Cup? Ah oh, shit, that didn't combo. He teleported once, but it's not like teleport's that good, so... Oro can chase down teleport on reaction with two dashes into Stand Strong. It depends on what I'm doing. If I'm not doing anything, though, I can just see it and punish it. He knows teleport exists anyway. That was not a bad thing to go for there. He went for the really... That's That juggle is hard. It's like a one-frame juggle on Oro. No, it might not work on Oro at all, actually. Dash in into low parry. Was that sufficiently aggressive for you guys? Yes, that's like frame perfect. I did three entire normals after the um, game ended. And they were all my kicks. I'm not even joking, that's frame perfect. Shit. Ah, shit. I was being really aggressive with a parry, but he hit me after the parry freeze ended. I mean, parry, whatever. The parry active frames. Went for the parry there. Bit aggressive of me. I think I could have hit him. My gal style. A little slow. That's a hard pickup. That's also hard.
Ugh. That was sloppy. Nature jump was what I wanted. This man doesn't have a game plan. This man's game plan is throw Hadoukens when he's far away and then like try an ATR. And then every now and then when he's close he does low medium kick into Tatsu. If he did that a lot, he would be doing better than he is, to be honest. Even though it's like really unsafe. It's not really unsafe, that's the thing. Akuma's Tatsu is... It depends on your character, but it can be kind of annoying to punish. Wow. Bring back safe Tatsus. Damn it! Jump around has missed time. Didn't hit. Got it. That's the right. That's the right hit. Damn it. He said lol. He said lol because he didn't think they were GG's.